With all the heavy rain, city officials have been on the lookout for mosquitoes carrying West Nile virus. And today, the first case was confirmed in a horse. Action 7 News reporter Matt Howerton tells us why it may be just a matter of time before a human catches the disease. Monsoon season brings heavy rains and flooded streets, but it also means more mosquitoes and renewed fears about the West Nile virus. When it's dry, our numbers are low. Once that monsoon hits and we start getting that water ponding up, we see our populations come up pretty significantly. The proof is in the South Valley, where a horse contracted West Nile. The animal had to be euthanized last week. Though no human cases have been reported yet, Dr. Paul Smith of the Albuquerque Environmental Health Department says the first case, animal or human, should be a sign to anyone to apply the bug spray and clear out the standing water. We did detect positive West Nile virus positive mosquitoes about two weeks ago. Uh, it shows us that the virus is active in the area, and we definitely want people to take precautions to protect themselves and to protect their horses as well. Make sure you're using your insect repellent when you're outdoors. Flower pots, buckets, uh, anything that might be holding that rainwater, especially with the rain that we've had, anything like that could be breeding habitat. So turn those over. Cities have been spraying for mosquitoes long before the monsoon set in. And with this latest case, that's not likely to change anytime soon. In Albuquerque, Matt Howerton, KOAT Action 7 News. New Mexico saw 38 human cases of West Nile virus last year. Three of those patients died.